So hi everybody, Craig Hanson here and really looking forward to showing you this area, these videos here. We're going to be looking at some biomechanics, we're going to be looking at the tilts and turns and uh, show everyone out there how to estimate extremely closely where you are simply by using your mobile phones or when you're filming your swings. So I'll show you a few drills if you're not into filming your swings so that you'll get a very good understanding of also these acceptable numbers. Okay, now the reason that we do it when we're looking at uh, averages of great players, great ball strikers. It's interesting when we look at, you know, inside certain degrees of where they are, if we get ourselves also inside all of these averages, and that makes it much easier to play some great golf. There's a lot said that it's not possible to get in there with you when filming swings and uh, seeing all that stuff, that's not true. I've got all the equipment and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Obviously, a lot of companies uh, are suggesting that that's not possible. You can see so much, even with estimating numbers of plane and path and uh, turns and tilts, simply by filming your swings. So guys, we're going to be looking at hip turn here at impact rotation, uh, two averages between 35 and 50 degrees. Don't forget that's an average, but uh, a lot of people are really trying through uh, the use of a lot of videos out there to get themselves into positions that uh, are well over that number. and. As I'm a, a professional instructor and I've taught people from all around the world, I'm seeing a lot of people at impact with not enough rotation with the bottom half. So I'm gonna show you how to estimate this very, very uh, closely and uh, get yourself extremely close to these numbers and perhaps we'll use a little bit of a feel or a drill here to get there. Now, let's have a look at firstly what we're talking about. When we're talking about rotation of the hips, we'll be looking at getting ourselves rotating in this direction. Okay, now that is at the moment 45 degrees open. I'm going to show you what's much more than that and give you an idea of when you're filming your swings what to check and what to look at. Now, the reason that we create what we need when we have the hips rotated, we obviously have a clear way, we're not creating a collision, we're getting our weight to transfer. We need, excuse me, we need in the golf swing two things we need movement laterally and an opening up. Okay, so we need around four to six inches of lateral movement plus the rotation of the hips. Now the shoulders will be between 24 to 36 degrees rotated. We're going to get into that in another video. Normally when you get your hips here, you'll get extremely close to that as well. So it starts a little bit from using your feet and your knees correctly. That's where we're gripping the ground. So hi everyone, looking at two great players here, Jordan Spieth and Lee Westwood, and we're seeing two completely different moves on the way down with hip turn. We'll see Jordan Spieth here where we're seeing the complete lead leg in the behind. So we're looking here at around, oh, you'd have to estimate around 70 degrees of hip turn. Whereas at Lee Westwood here, more of a, what I call a slide and hold type of transition and coming down and really only about 20 degrees open here. Depending on what style that suits you, obviously Lee Westwood has the uh, trail arm much higher here, good wrist angle, and this type of slide and hold transition helps him shallow it out where Jordan Spieth is, is really uh, not having any troubles shallowing that out. And two completely different transition moves, guys. Looking at the lateral movement from the front view, obviously a very important area also. And we need to be able to uh, understand the golf swing and get our hands on some uh, really good information. When you're looking at the amount of lateral movement from the top of the swing, you're really gonna be seeing around four to six inches and sometimes a lot more than this right knee moving down uh, well under 60 degrees. Now if we can get the inside of this right knee and this right knee covering the golf ball, uh, we're in a good place to go. Lateral movement and opening up, understanding your swing patterns, very important. World-class golf instruction will take you through the different styles of transitions, release patterns, lateral movement. Get your hands on the good information, guys. All right, let's keep going. So let's get in there and have a look. So when we set ourselves up, Okay, so we're gonna get up here, we're at zero degrees here. So there's nothing, there's nothing happening, okay? So the more that I move in this direction, the more the hips open. And this is what's, this is the, the area that, that concerns me is that people uh, don't realize that the average is 35 to 50 and 35, it's not a lot, okay? It, it's not really that much or, or the way that we look at it. So when I move into the hips being like 20 degrees open, they're 20 degrees open here, it looks like I haven't turned at all. Okay, so you're still seeing, don't forget, you're still seeing great players, Lee Westwood, many other players with and not really opening up their hips as much and they're under the average, right? Now when I take this, when I get myself into, get it into 40 degrees. 
So there's 40 degrees. So there you can start to see the left butting a little bit, a little bit of the lead leg. And we're seeing a lot of people telling people to get into this type of that's up to you're up to 60 degrees now and there are players obviously up there but there the goal was that having really shut wrists and hands and and pausing the hips and for the general public for getting your hips into a 60 degree area it's just going to be a, for a lot of you too much okay so we want to be able to get into this position without it being disruptive world-class golf instruction has over 700 detailed videos for every golfer Practice programs and evidence-based material is applied to helping you to become your own coach and play your best golf. Join us in the chat room and join the community of world-class golf instruction. So let's have a look again so that you get an idea. So if you're filming your swing, we'll get into, what have we got? Okay, we'll get zero. So that's 20 degrees. There's 40 degrees. So that is, would be the average position that you're after. And it's not really as far open as perhaps what some people would suggest on video and getting in there and doing stuff like that where I've now rotated to 70 degrees. And so getting yourself in the averages makes sense. It's proven evidence-based material. Now, we want to get some lateral, we want to get uh, this knee and, and moving in this direction. When we get the knee to cover the golf ball, there is a pressure point on the inside of this foot. You're going to see so many great players, McElroy, Adam Scott, Tiger Woods, you see so many of these players getting that right knee over the ball at impact. And that's going to give you some shift forwards, but plus get an opening. It's not a really disruptive thought working from the knee down to the ankle. Okay, so when, you, when you're practicing this and you're getting that right knee to cover, You've got to be also careful that you're not kicking this right knee out in this direction. That when you're getting through, the hips or, or the knees will be in the finished position together and not out in this direction. So, I'm going to pop my right knee over the ball now. And we've got 42 degrees. And there's 50. So by practicing little swings, and getting that club to move in sync, that's the look you're gonna get from behind. And then when you've got that feel, you come in and hit one after talking for that long. Let's, let's see how we go. Okay, a little, little thin, but not bad, nice direction. So guys, that, that will give you a bit of an idea of how much the hips are open and how much is not enough, okay? Getting this look here, you're only gonna be close to zero, a little bit you're going to be only around to 20 degrees getting into here you're going to be around 45 40 degrees and when you're seeing that much you're right up over over the average and that will give you a better gauge using this knee turn these hips to get you in the corridor of the pga professionals